G'day everybody and welcome. I hope you're having a fabulous, awesome, inspiring day today. If you are new to PasakasArt.com and you have not subscribed to my monthly newsletter, please feel free to register. Um, if you go to PasakasArt.com, you'll find join our mailing list on the left hand side and you can subscribe simply by adding your um, email address. To all my current subscribers, you'll receive a newsletter shortly and you can choose whether you'd like to receive this free book or not. I wanted to include a brief summary on the following um, ebook. It's a simple tutorial how to create this simple composition using a palette knife. Now this is my own methodology. I don't advocate that this is the way how to use a palette knife. It's simply information that I've uh, learned and gathered over the last 15 years and that is unique to me that that's um, what works for me I believe that what you know whatever feels good to you um, definitely go out and use it paint it create with it it is important however that you have a really good art foundation that you understand about primary colors how to mix secondary and tertiary colors that you understand about tones and tints and hues and and um, all of the, the the necessary things that are part of applying or creating a painting ultimately once you have this composition and it's part of your makeup I mean you can paint with your fingers what art tools you use is not really um, as important as how you apply that which you know I remember a couple of years ago witnessing an artist um, painting with a credit card and he totally inspired me to look at the materials that I use in a new and unique perspective. I mean, I, I started to think about how I could incorporate what was in front of me within my own artwork. So this ebook really is, is my own perspective. It's something different and uh, my intention is for everyone to show you another way, another another point of, of how you can create a painting um, using a palette knife and then go ahead and develop your own style. As most of my students know, if you're following my blogs and newsletters, I always uh, encourage everybody to be the first you. Don't paint like me. I don't want you to you know, create exactly stroke by stroke paintings as, as what I do. The whole idea here is that you through seeing different information that you're able to then um, gather all that and incorporate it into your own unique patterns. What I would hope that you also gain from this ebook is to start to understand how you look at paintings as shapes, how you create artworks that are shapes, not necessarily always uh, view something as a vase or a table or a flower. Uh, also perhaps focus on how to work with the palette knife, how to apply paint, that it's a little bit thicker, how you hold it, how you manipulate edges, etc. The other idea too is that this ebook, um, I'm going to be talking about the wet into wet technique of painting and how you start to manipulate edges and, and have an understanding of uh, whether you're creating a soft edge or a hard, and hard edge. And if you're seeing in the... Um, pages uh, on your screen right now you'll see the on the left hand side there's a what I see is a blue triangle uh, rectangle sorry and then next to it is a, a blue gray triangle but the edge in between those when you put two shapes together is actually a soft edge so that's another thing that you want to start to pay attention to when you're creating your artworks um, using the wet into wet technique also can create interesting layers and effects and for example you'll find that as I'm painting my flowers um, there's different directional applications of paint and then there's a the hard edges and then uh, the fact that I mix the, the paint directly on the canvas and not on my, on my board to begin with. I also talk about in the book the importance of how you perceive tones. And if you have a look on the middle page, you'll see that this tone on the white, the second from the top, and the tone on the red oxide uh, canvas are actually the same. I know that I don't look it but it's simply the way that we perceive it. They look differently against a different background. And this is really important. And if you're new to, uh, to this concept, I urge you to start to do this um, uh, process through the tutorial. And you'll start to see how, even though we're mixing the same shapes, they can appear, sorry, the same colors, they can appear different. So it's really important that you set your intention from the beginning. What do you want to achieve? 
what vision do you have in your mind of how you want this to, to come out? It's important that you focus on shapes. It's important that you focus on lines and tones. And most importantly, that you have fun. Um, if you do find yourself moving or having some challenges, stop, take a break and come back to it another time. Be the first you. Um, allow your uniqueness to shine through this. And if you feel comfortable, by all means, do share your thoughts um, on my Facebook page, which you'll find the link from pasakasar.com on, on the left-hand side there. And again, if you're new to uh, being a subscriber to my monthly newsletters and free eBooks, please feel free to register your email in order to receive um, the free, free stuff that I'm offering. Any questions, don't hesitate to let me know. And most importantly, have fun. See you guys.